human trafficking and child sexual exploitation are entwined and take place in all countries around the world. This is the story of children affected. Blockbuster movies and breaking news have told stories of international trafficking and sexual exploitation for years. But most stories of trafficking actually don't look like this. Domestic child trafficking does not always involve clandestine border crossings. Children are not always locked up in dark rooms and international crime syndicates may not be involved. Domestic trafficking often occurs in plain sight, does not attract attention and the child may only be taken across town and returned home afterwards. In these instances, there are no grand rescues with happy endings. This is the story of when home no longer provides the safety it should. When adult offenders use their power to coerce and control children, causing lifelong harm. Domestic trafficking happens in every country around the world. In rural Peruvian communities, indigenous girls and their families can be deceived. With the promise of work, money or a place to live, girls can be moved around the country. Where they are instead forced into sexual exploitation, often around mining sites. Financial hardships push families into letting down their guard and accepting supposed opportunities they otherwise wouldn't. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, humanitarian crises stemming from the armed conflict have left families with few survival options. Food insecurity and poverty can position child marriage as a potential way out, as the bride's dowry can relieve the family's financial hardship. But once married, some girls are sexually exploited. Child marriages often result in early pregnancy, health issues and discontinued education. These things can then limit future opportunities. In India, poverty and gender and caste discrimination can make children vulnerable to domestic trafficking and sexual exploitation. Financial hardship forces children onto the streets to beg for money and food where they can fall victim to offenders. Domestic tourists add to the problem as a lack of laws against this crime in travel and tourism settings leave children unprotected. Trafficking children for sexual exploitation is a serious crime. Tackling the socio-economic factors driving exploitation is needed to prevent families from falling victim to or even being offenders. Discomfort discussing sex may prevent concerns being raised. This needs to change. We cannot ignore it. Everyone has a duty to learn about domestic trafficking and sexual exploitation. Be vigilant. Trust your instincts and raise concerns so that children are protected.